the student farmer positions are during the academic school year and students average between 8 to 10 hours of work a week um, and then in addition to the academic school year we also have full-time summer employment opportunities. So the student farmer basically is thrown into the mix of a diversified production farm that has very strong educational roots and that can range from working out in the fields with planting and weeding and harvesting to uh, working with the animals, um, doing livestock maintenance in terms of health care, um, pasture management, um, feeding them, collecting eggs um, um, and that kind of work. Um, to working in the packing house, washing and processing our, our produce um, and making deliveries to the dining hall and also then taking it from the farm to its final destination whether that's to our CSA program, to the dining hall as a delivery or to our local farmers market. I was pretty indifferent about the whole thing. Uh, when I was choosing colleges and then I uh, saw that Dickinson had a farm and I was like, eh, I like it. And so I pretty much made my mind up on the spot. So Matt and Jen taught the politics, pleasure, and production of food. And in that class we learned about what the Dickinson farm does and what different local farms in the area do. And that class really inspired me. I had volunteered. Um, a fair amount during my first semester and I really enjoyed the people who worked on the farm. They were very like welcoming and accepting. I volunteered for a class that really inspired me to apply to work at the farm. Um, we were learning about local food movements. I originally joined the farm because I thought that it would be a good way to get outside, to get a break from my class regime and staring at my computer. So it's nice to go somewhere, do something that you love um, and kind of remove yourself from the whole situation. We really try to offer a full spectrum of opportunity and experience for our students and kind of cater to the interests. If they have a specific interest in one area, we do our best to, to help field um, those opportunities, but also really try to get them involved in all aspects of the farm. I've had a lot of unique experiences at the farm and many that I would never have expected to be doing during college. I just like that every day is different. I don't think I've done the same thing twice since I've been here. I've had the opportunity to spend my senior year doing research at the farm on um, natural medications for the sheep. The farm is definitely a living laboratory in that it provides opportunities for any student to do research, to work, to really amplify their academic experience. Participating in chicken processing was one of the more eye-opening experiences both as a student farmer and as a vegetarian. I really like working with machines, mechanics, anything along those lines is really uh, it's my forte, I suppose. I applied and received a, the apprenticeship, which is a six-month program following graduation where I'm going to live at the farm with three other interns and work intensively full-time on the farm, and I'm really, really excited. In essence, uh, student farmers are really the backbone of this program. The program would not function without dedication of our students. I mean, they're the ones that make it work. Each day, Dickinson College's food waste is picked up by student farmers and taken to the college farm, where it is composted into a natural soil amendment which is used to fertilize our USDA certified organic operation. We are able to capture 100% of the food waste generated in our college dining facilities. That's everything from the snar to the dining hall to the quarry. And collect significant amounts of food waste from our dorms with the help of our college eco reps who work for the Center for Sustainability Education. You just take it out here. The dorm waste is held in a tumbler to decompose and transported to the college farm twice a semester. I usually just ask people to turn it a couple times while they're here. Get it going in there. We currently collect over 800 pounds of college food waste each day. That's enough waste to fill an entire dumpster. On their way to the farm every shift, the students pick up the compost buckets. Then they run by the Weiss grocery store and pick up 200 more pounds per day of food waste. Once they get to the farm, the student farmers empty the buckets into the bucket of the farm's tractor.
The farm managers then incorporate it into an active compost windrow. The waste is then mixed in the compost pile with mulch hay and wood chips and eventually it turns to compost. That is sent to landfills by over 50%. The college saves up to $10,800 annually in tipping fees and $1,200 a year just in trash bags. While this composting program is clearly very successful, every year we work to improve it. Hey guys, I'm Anna Amberger and we're here at the Dickinson College Farm and this is my home. Alright, so we're in a yurt. It's a traditional Mongolian style hut. Also, uh, to many, a glorified tent. Um, ours at the Dickinson College Farm are connected to solar power, so we're completely off the grid. And there's no air conditioning, no, we do have our uh, wood-fired um, ovens here that we use in the winter months. Um, all the wood is from on the property. This year, the three of us are uh, planted in our yurts for the entire duration of our apprenticeship, so I have completely moved in. Um, and there's like weird storage that I've created. Oh, I love it. I think it's, I think it's super cool being completely off the grid, completely uh, just relying on uh, what we have on the property. And I feel like it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm not gonna, I'm probably never gonna live in a yurt again. This is Cheeks, she's 15. And I don't think that she has ever uh, enjoyed life more. I think if you are ready to be in tune with the elements and the weather that's outside, um, yurts are the way to go. If you want to be completely off the grid, I think it's a great way to do it. And it's, you know, small living quarters uh, for the most part. I think it's an experience. To me, it's, it's home.